Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you happen to have a dolly or a crafting channel of your own, um, please let me know in the comments below and then I will um, subscribe to your channel as well. Um, and if you are interested in the upcoming Reborn Baby Giveaway, we are getting really close. Um, I checked this morning and I think we were at like 9.33 or 9.34. So we're getting close. So after we've gone like a little tiny bit above 1,000, um, I'm going to do that giveaway just because I know that some people will drop off after the giveaway. I mean, that always happens. Um, I want it to be maybe like just a shade over a thousand and then we'll do, we'll get the giveaway started. And I don't mean like, you know, like some really stupid high amount over a thousand. I mean like a thousand five, a thousand ten. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get that started. Um, but, but yeah, and it's not this girl. This is my, this is Iona. She is, she is a, a um, she's a forever baby. So, she's not going anywhere. Um, Iona is the ward sculpt by Irina Kaplanskaya, and she was reborn by Beautiful Babies by Betsy. Um, and she is such a sweet girl. She has the sweetest little, like, curious, wide-eyed baby look to her, and I just absolutely... I just love it. I love her face. I love her expression. But she's going to be our little model for today um, because we are going to be doing Disney Monday. And I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and then I'm going to start changing her. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. <laughs> We're doing Disney Monday, and we're also going to be doing a tag, and we're going to be doing a tag from Josie over at Josie's Jungle, over at Josie's Jungle Playroom, Josie's Jungle Room. Girl, I'm so sorry. I like your channel, exact channel name, like flew out of my head. But I'm going to tag her in the title of the of the video so you guys will be able to go over to her channel and give her a follow if you haven't already. She is super fun. I love her channel. Um, she's just, she's fun, she's energetic, and she, and she just has fun with her babies, which I love. Um, I love watching channels that kind of make me think of my own, of people just, you know... People just having fun um, with their babies. But anyway, I am finally taking... Look at her little birthmark. You see her little birthmark? It's so sweet. I am fine. I love this. I love the thighs on this baby. She's got little fat rolls. They are so cute. I am finally getting her out of this donut dress that I had twinned um, with uh, Shara over at Reborn Living Dolls. I'm finally getting her out of this. And we're going to do the tag from Josie. So the tag is called Dolly Time. And what the tag is about is um, does your, uh, you know, do you wish there was more Dolly Time? Does, does real life get in the way of your Dolly Time? Um, have, you know, um, has anything been affected by your dolly time, you know, or, or how, do, how do you make time for your dolly time? Um, I think she kind of like covered a lot of that. Um, so let me show you what I'm going to put on her. And I have washed these because they're really, really dark. Um, but I did wash them. They are these um, these dark jeans, and they've got little 
embroidered pink paw prints down on the bottom and then it's got this really cute top that is um, it's got this really really sweet top that is kind of like a sweatshirt material and it's embroidered with little houses and it's got a little applique um, a puppy from 101 Dalmatians and don't ask me what that puppy's name is I have no idea Maybe Dottie? I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I was never into 101 Dalmatians. But I think that it's a really cute outfit. And I think that this is supposed to be like Big Ben. And then it's got these little houses embroidered. And there's just all these touches of like hot, like hot pink all over it. So anyway. Um, so I make time for my dolls. Um, I spend a lot of time with my dolls in the mornings. Um, I do most of my, you know, when I film, I mostly do my filming in the mornings. And I, it is, it is not unusual for me to find a baby and go sit and drink my morning coffee and watch some videos and answer comments with a baby in my lap. Um, <laughs> I definitely interact with these babies a lot off camera because as far as I'm concerned, these these are my babies. These are my vinyl children. Um, and you know I don't treat them, I've said this before, I don't treat them like they're children. I know that they're dolls. But I make, I make time for them because you know, you make time for what is important to you. And these babies are really, really important to me. And they give me so much happiness that I can't help but make sure that I have time for them. Um, I wish I could take, I wish I could take them to work, but I can't. Um, because I would love, I would love to spend time with one of these babies in my lap all the time. Um, when I get home from work, I usually come and I say hi to the babies. And yes, I do say hi to them. I say hi. I give maybe like some cuddles and some kisses. And I'll pick one or two up and just, you know, just squeeze them and love on them. Um... And then when Joe and I sit down to watch TV prior to like, his jeans are a bit big on her, but that's okay. When Joe and I sit down to watch TV, um, I, before we eat dinner, I will usually grab a baby and I will have a baby in my lap. So, um, so I squeeze more dolly time into my nighttime routine, um, and one is in my lap when I'm watching TV. And usually it would be the same baby that was in my lap in that morning. Um, and yes, Josie, I do take notes like you do. I have a whole planner that's devoted to, um, to uh, my channel. And to like the various themes and such. And things that I want to make sure that I get covered for the week. I am just going to turn her like this to where she can face you guys. I'm going to put her down for some tummy time and just put her head right there so you guys can see her. And we are going to get her little outfit buttoned. So nighttime is TV time, holding, cuddling a baby. Mornings is sitting, watching videos, drinking coffee, holding, cuddling a baby. Um, part of my dolly time is whenever I find out the themes for the week, I love sitting down and going through my dolly wardrobe and picking out everything and laying it aside. That's dolly time to me. Um, I do that in the mornings before I start, like... Sometimes before I even start my morning routine with my coffee and such, if I know the themes for the week, I'll start going through my clothes and I'll lay, I'll lay my little cloth drawers out on the bed and I will have so much fun. I'm going to grab 
another drink of coffee. We're just going to leave her like that for a minute because she looks precious like that. Um, and I will have um, my time sorting through clothes. And I, oh my gosh, I love doing that. I love sorting through clothes. Um, I've kind of like weeded out quite a bit of clothes and I find it, it's a little bit more enjoyable now that I have less. Because if I have too much of something, I get overwhelmed. Um, let's see. So the other part of this tag, I think, was talking about, you know, has, has anything, has any, like, part of your life maybe, like, suffered because of, of Dolly time? Um, no. Um, I would say that I don't... I don't watch as much TV. Um, I used to watch TV in the mornings or I'd play video games. Um, I have given up my video games because of this hobby. Um, I can't watch videos and keep up with my own comments and make videos if I am getting sucked into a video game world. There's just, for me, there's not time for both. I used to love gaming, and I, I don't do that anymore. I did give that up. Um, for a long time, I did give up coloring, um, but mainly I gave up coloring because it was really hurting my head and my back and shoulders. Um, and so I stopped. I kept, like, the bare basics of my supplies, and that was it. But recently, now that I've started taking my CBD, now that I've started taking the CBD oil, I find that I can color a bit more comfortably, so I am slowly kind of working back into coloring, but it's just like, it's like my color by number books. Um, but it's nowhere near the way it used to be. Um, I used to color for hours on end. I mean, and I did complex coloring, you guys. I mean, I was like blending, shading with pencils and alcohol markers. I mean, I was, I was into it. Um, so I don't do that anymore. Um, I, um, I do have to make sure that I stay on top of my cleaning and that I stay on top of, of, you know, doing kind of like what I consider like my household chores, um, because it, it can really, really suck your time away if you're just sitting there watching videos. And I sometimes... So I have anxiety when it comes to watching other people's videos. It's not that I don't like watching other people's videos because I do, but I have this like self-induced anxiety that I have to watch everyone's videos. I have to leave really long, thoughtful comments on everybody's videos. And then pretty soon I'm overwhelmed and I start getting worried and scared that people won't think that I like them anymore. And I'll notice that I've missed, like, you know, and some of you are like me, and you put a video out every day or almost every day. And then I'll suddenly realize that it's been, like, seven or eight videos, and I haven't watched one. And, oh, my gosh, the panic that I feel. Like, oh, my gosh, what if, um, let me think. I noticed today that I was really behind on Cena's videos, and I thought, oh my gosh, what if Cena hates me now? And then, like, a few minutes later, Cena's messaging me on Facebook, like, you know, because she and I talk quite a bit. And it's like, you know, nothing's wrong. It's like she's not mad at me because I've missed videos, but it's all in my head. And so I think that that's kind of like, um, where, where I kind of need to step away a little bit from Dolly time. And if I'm giving myself huge bits of anxiety, then I just need to be like, hey guys, I'm really behind on videos. If I don't leave a comment on like a lot of your videos and suddenly I leave a comment, it's, it's not that I've suddenly remembered that you exist. It's that I've got so many other things going on and I run out of time and I'm subscribed to like, I think so many people now that, um, you know, and, and there's just, I can't keep up. Um, <laughs> so I have to be careful about letting Dolly time swallow up all my free time because I would literally sit in front of that computer and watch hours upon hours of videos trying to stay caught up 
and I would not clean. I would not like look up information about recipes that I want to make. I I just I would not get I would not get anything done. <laughs> so I have to be mindful of like that aspect of dolly time. Um, but anyway, but I I love my dolly time. I'm going to turn her over. Sorry if you see my big head. I'm going to turn her over so that we can see how cute she is in this. How beautiful her hair is painted. I'm going to turn her around. See if I can get her face facing the camera. There she is. There she is. She's so cute. She moves so well. And then I've got... I've got this little Minnie Mouse rattle um, that um, I think this was sent with, um, I need to pull the tag off, I think this was sent with Genevieve, I think Jeannie sent this with Genevieve, but another little Disney thing, and I've kind of almost made this her little rattle, she's always got this in her lap now, but there's her little outfit, so you can see what that looks like on her, there's the little donation. It's a little big on her, but that's okay. There's her little rattle, and then I've got um, a little pink bow, and she has got, do you see that? She's got a magnet. She's got a magnet for, um, she's got a magnet in her head for, um, for hair bows, so it's kind of just that main part that wants to stick, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably just leave that on for photos and then maybe take it off of her. I, I may not leave these jeans on her very long because I'm afraid they're going to stain her vinyl even though I've washed them. But I, I get antsy like that. But anyway, there is sweet little Miss Iona. She looks, oh my gosh, she looks adorable, doesn't she? She is so totally cute in that. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, thank you for being here with me. I love you guys. Take care. Take care of each other. See you next time. Bye-bye.